Hi everybody, this is a five minute light language. Um, it's based on the Ten of Air card from The Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed. It is absolutely perfect for today in my world. I was, I've got another um, five minute light language I'm about to do as part of the Ascension Deck series on my other channel, which I'll link below. And I just felt I needed another antidote first before I could really receive that antidote, which is about creation. It's about creating the new. Um, so this one is about the endings um, and ending with grace. So it's perfect. I love the perfection of spirit. So here we go. The Ten of Air. Graceful endings and hopeful beginnings meet. A point of epiphany. An end to old ways of thinking. It's up from here as I bless the ending. Grateful for the lessons I've learned that can free me from patterns that no longer serve me. I allow my circumstances to end with grace as I know something better can appear at any time. I'm thankful that from now on I can respond differently to any challenging situation. Um, this is incredibly relevant to me. I felt an um, energetic shift yesterday as I aligned to the new and let go of the old in some very, very troubling situations that I'm dealing with um, and um, really feeling that shift on the energetic levels and waiting to see how the inspired action comes through um, and makes the changes um, in uh, the situations themselves. So... light language so the feathers falling from heaven is what I'm feeling all those opportunities the support the connection to your guides feeling the energy of those dropping in soothing the solar plexus Releasing all the troubles in, held tightly in that solar plexus and the diaphragm. The, all the blockages are preventing you moving forward. All the issues that seem impossible to solve. あせてててててかたかこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことこことここと
energetically like my bed and my body tilting, moving. It was probably symbolic, but it just showed me a reorientation to everything as it currently stands in my life. So as I'm talking about this, I'm sharing those codes and those frequencies with you of that epiphany that comes that creates the change of perspective that then from that change of perspective changes your inspired action and changes your position and changes outcomes ina koko to ko chipeta ka ka to to itaka sata pa koko itaka ka ka to isaka ka to koko ko to ko chipeta ka to puta ka ka ta koko to puta ko chipeta ta pata ka puta koko and I'd like to say that receiving that divine assistance um, brought a strength, um, a strength in the knowing that you're not alone in, um, even if you know it, it's knowing it on an energetic level, knowing it in an embodied way, that you're not, you're not alone and you've got support and it, 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 it gives you that uh, inner strength, uh, energetic strength that you may not have had if you've been worn down by the circumstances of life, you feel alone and like nobody's listening. If you can, uh, when you feel that support come in, it gives you a strength that enables you to take the action in the right direction that may not have even felt possible if you're coming from a perspective of nobody cares or nobody's listening or no matter what I do, nothing changes. Um, so this is really the antidote to that. Traditionally, this card is the Ten of Swords, which is all the swords in your back. You've reached breaking point. You've gone as far as you can go. Um, essentially, you've, um, you've, you've died. So that situation you've been dealing with, you've been defeated by it. Um, and then <clears throat> it dies with you <clears throat> and it, it obviously creates what comes after that is the creation of the new life, the rebirth. But in this instance, you haven't been defeated by it. You've had an epiphany. Um, you've maybe reached breaking point, gone as far as you can go from that perspective. Um, you, you get divine inspiration, divine support and you get the epiphany, you change your perspective, um, the possibilities suddenly become apparent and clear and you have the energy to move in that direction and you can see the higher timeline, you can see how things can be different. Um, there's that sun in the traditional tarot, I think I remember that there's um, some sun on the horizon. <clears throat> so... It's not all over. There's hope. There's there's sun on the horizon. There's positivity. There's optimism. <coughs> there's something to head towards. <coughs> Sorry, my throat. This is my throat chakra. <coughs> Had a really big throat clearing as well, and this is related to the throat chakra. And obviously, in this card, her throat is um, her head is back, and her throat is um, expanded and open, as is her heart, as is her solar plexus. She's really in that place of surrender and she's looking up at the heavens, knowing she's supported, knowing that there is a higher timeline, knowing that she's switching on to that higher timeline. It's working through throat, soul, plexus. You can feel the wings on her back, wings expanding. You're getting your wings, you can fly. You can fly to the, the new perspective, the new inspired, the new inspiration, the new inspired action. The new timeline, <sighs> breath, breathing in the breath of life, it's moving through you, you're one with all possibility, infinite possibility, you're expanded, your energy feels expanding, your feet are on the ground but you have wings and you can use both. <laughs> <laughs> 
and you are using both. I'm realising it's Easter today, which of course um, is the death of Christ and the three days in the cave and then the resurrection, which is of course where he's connecting with spirit and then so very symbolic of what we've just described of the um the seeing the cause all the way through to the end to the point of um completion at the physical levels raising it into spirit um to a spiritual perspective and coming back reborn with a new perspective, um, one with the divine, um, death and rebirth, death and resurrection. So take care, everybody. Um, this is a healing, so make sure you um, take rest, reflect, um, purge, allow everything to move out with love and um, drink a lot of water. Take care. Blessings.